If you've gotten an interest in the Airbus A350 like I have, you've probably got the Flight Factor A350 package for X-Plane 11, and you'll know how the stock checklist leaves something to be desired. Now you can have the same checklist as the real airline uses right from the FCOM. Plus, some items are even auto sense, just like the real airplane. What's not to like? Check it out. This upgraded version of the checklist appeared on the xplane.org forum, and it's great. It represents a greatly simplified and fairly accurate checklist for the A350. You can actually use the thing for flying the sim. Hey, what a concept. It's just a modification of the flight factor text file, and when you open it up, it's really not that complicated. And in the flight simming world, we're mostly flying airliners single piloted. Anything that helps us is greatly appreciated. But doesn't the original one have items that are auto sensed and completed by the aircraft itself? Answer yes, it does. And it's super helpful for us solo pilots. So after a little bit of time, I did the work and now I can present to you the Airbus A350 ECL update with some items totally auto sense just like the real aircraft. For example, you take off, you put the gear up, flaps up, call for the after takeoff checklist, and when you bring it up, the gear, flaps, and APU are sensed, and if they're in the correct position, they're all green. So your pilot monitoring voice, if you had one, would just say after takeoff checklist complete. And that's just like the real thing right there, folks. So let's say you're in manage speed for your landing. You select gear down, flaps full. You arm the spoilers. You call for the landing checklist, and lo and behold, it comes up all green. So we'd say landing checklist complete in a confirming sort of way, I suppose. If something were to be pink and a quick refresh didn't sense it as green, well, that's what a checklist is for. Now, some things are not sensed by the aircraft systems, like whether the navigation briefing is complete. And that's the way it is in the real airplane. Sometimes the pilot needs to be made aware of the specific items, like the decision height. And it's not just an annoyance that it exists. Sometimes items could be sensed, but for some reason they're just not. And more on that later. Checklists start with a white title, and as you've seen already, they go to all green if they're complete. Again, I mark them complete with the mouse or with my asterisk key. If any item is not done, that item is pink, and the whole checklist is listed as pink on the checklist title page. I've decided to show a little bit of footage here showing my selection of the key mapping of my asterisk key to the actual checklist accomplishment in your keyboard mappings in X-Plane 11. This is all a good level of uh, reorganization and realism, but I've also included briefing items. Now these lists are not checklists per se. Checklists are all in uppercase. Briefing lines are the indented lines in a mixed case, and when you click on them, they give you items that Pretty much all airlines are required to brief before they actually fly them. Their names may be different from airline to airline, but they're included here. And feel free to delete them out of that text file if you really want to be a purist. But I actually wish they'd put them into the real checklist on the real planes. Again, briefs aren't itemized with sub-items to accomplish, but their titles do go green if you visit them to remind you of the fact that you've covered those. Any checklist, briefing, or even a single item that you check as complete gets a pink color. So I guess we can think of complete as meaning actually incomplete, which I guess I can do that. But you hit reset and it gets rescanned, and if it's sensed, it goes green. If it's not sensed, my asterisk or using the mouse key gets the job done. One note of caution an incomplete item will stop the checklist scan at that spot. 
and accomplishing the item may make it go automatically green. But I've had times where it doesn't register as green until hitting the reset checklist button again. So again, your, your mileage may vary on that. I've also had times where my aircraft first comes up with little black flecks all over the windscreen, which I presume is a memory usage issue. It might even be related to my troubleshooting, and it never really persists for me. Uh, sometimes it goes away like dirt blowing off. Other times it goes away if I reinitialize the flight. And again, on that, uh, your mileage may vary. As of this writing and this video, uh, April 2022, some real-world A350s are getting a software modification known as the Batch 7 upgrade, which makes all items on the shutdown checklist auto-sensed for completion. And previously, items like the engines being shut down or engine anti-ice being off were not sensed, but obviously that was logical to change in the Batch 7 release. Well, now this has it too, and the only thing spoken by the crews is shutdown checklist complete. I may well come up with a set of lessons learned or best practices for the Flight Factor A350, and if so, I'll be sure to post that video on YouTube. But I think we're all tutorialed out on this, so I'll approach it from the viewpoint that you might just want to learn some items to get some rough spots worked out. I've flown it now a bit, and I believe I've gotten the bugs worked out of it, and as usual, I'll try to keep it short. Till next time, keep it real, and keep on flying.